Hi! When you first open Canvid, it'll ask you how you want to record your screen. There are two choices. Choose the display option so it captures your entire screen, or you can choose window to select a specific program or window to record. For now, let's go for window and let's pick a Maps browser tab for this tutorial. So, after choosing the window, Canvid will show you the pre-recording screen which previews what you're about to record. Here, you can set up the audio and camera before recording. If you change your mind and decide to record the entire screen instead, you can do that by choosing another option using these buttons. You can also go back to the main menu by clicking back at the lower left. If you want to use a webcam in the recording, just click the webcam button to choose your webcam device. Otherwise, just pick Don't Record Camera. Of course, we'll pick a webcam for this demo. You also have the option to hide the camera preview. Let's do that for now. Next up is the mic setting. Canvid will use your computer's default mic, but feel free to change this setting right here. And lastly, there's a button for system audio. Enable this to record any music or sound playing on your computer. Otherwise, just click again and disable. But let's keep that enabled for now. All set? Awesome! Just hit that big red button in the middle to start recording. At this point, Canvid is recording the screen, your voice, and the webcam. You'll also notice this small timer on the screen. But don't worry, the app will not show this in the recording. Click the Stop button to end the recording. But if you need to ditch the current recording and start over, just click the Trash Bin button to the right. Alright, let's hit Stop and move on to the most exciting part, the Canvid Editor. In the next video, we'll explore all the cool features of the editor and turn your basic recording into a real showstopper. See you there! Hi! Welcome back! In this video, we're diving into the Canvid Editor. Let's get started! This is the Canvid Editor window, where we have all the tools we need to customize our recording. And this is the Playback Preview. It gives us a sneak peek into how the recording will look after we jazz it up. Now, let's say you want to keep the address bar out of your recording. No problem. Just grab the Crop tool and trim away the parts you don't want. Select, drag, and voila! But if you're after position, tweak the numbers or pick from the handy presets up top. Once it's looking perfect, hit this button to lock in your changes. See this button? It's your magic wand for changing your video's aspect ratio. Expecting viewers on their smartphones, for example? Just switch to 916. Great! Now let's switch it back to auto so Canvid can work its magic and pick the best aspect ratio for our recording. This is the timeline, the control center for the timing and placement of zoom elements in your recording. Finally, we have the Canvid sidebar dashboard, and it's jam-packed with features to make our recording pop. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. In our last tutorial, we whipped up the short video that we are going to spruce up in the editor. Before we do anything else, it's important to know that once you've completed a recording, you can save it for later, or open existing ones by going to the menu on top. Alright, let's take a look at our masterpiece using these handy playback buttons right here. Now let me show you one of the more interesting places to visit in Chicago. We have the Millennium Park, which is a public park where you will find... Want to jump to a specific part of the video? Just give a left click right here. This little gem lets you zoom in and out of the timeline. Click and hold your middle mouse button, then drag it left or right to glide through the timeline. Super useful when you've zoomed in and want to navigate with ease. And if you prefer, there's a scroll bar down here that you can drag. Now, see this part of the recording? I'm thinking it's not quite ready for the spotlight. So, what's the game plan? We call it the Cut tool. Just give it a click, then select Cut. 
And just like that, we've got two segments. This is the keeper, and this one's getting the boot. Right click on it and you'll see two options. Use this to snip that section of the video segment, or pick undo cut markers to sew them back together. Easy peasy. Now that we've trimmed the video to our liking, let's move on to one of my favorite Canvid features. Okay, let's get back to the timeline. One feature Canvid does best is its smart zoom, which by default tracks your cursor clicks and movements. You may have noticed these blue bars in the timeline. They're called zoom segments. They are automatically generated by Canvid when the recording ends. Now let's try to play a section of the video with zooming on. Visit in Chicago. We have the Millennium Park, which is a pub. That looks great, doesn't it? But I feel it's a bit too zoomed in, don't you agree? Well, don't worry. All you have to do is click on a zoom segment, like so, and you can now adjust the zoom level to your liking. I pretty much prefer for my zoom values to be around 130 to 150%. For each zoom, you can select Auto, where Canvid automatically follows the cursor. Or you can set it to Manual, which allows you to pick the part of the video that will be zoomed in, regardless of where the cursor is. Now you can either delete the zoom or apply the current value to all zoom segments. And you can also set your new value as a default for your newly added custom zooms. So I mentioned newly added custom zooms. You heard it right. You can add custom zooms right here in the editor. Just click anywhere below the green bar to add a brand new zoom segment. Amazing. In the next video, we will add Canvid magic to our video using our awesome sidebar menu tools. See you there. Hey, welcome back. We are finally getting to the most exciting part of the app, the Canvid Editor Sidebar Tools. These tools will be responsible for transforming our video into a stellar masterpiece. Let's begin. All right, let's give our video a makeover with a new background. Just click on the background menu and the sidebar. You've got total control over your video's backdrop. Go for a solid color, choose from a bunch of preset wallpapers, play around with custom or preset gradients, or even upload your image. For now, let's spice things up with one of our default wallpapers. You can tweak the background blur to get it just right. And voila! Next up, we've got padding. It lets you decide how much of the background you want to show. Want to soften the edges of your window? This is where you can round off those corners. Now, doesn't that look snazzy? Last, dial up or down the intensity of your video's shadow right here. Look at that! Our video is starting to look pretty awesome. Let's keep going. All right, next is the cursor menu. This is where you can play around with the size and style of your cursor. For this video, I'm feeling the pointer. And just like that, perfect. By the way, I recommend keeping cursor movement smoothing enabled for that aesthetic glide. You can also control and customize how your cursor moves by changing its animation style. Let's select Gentle for this video. Next is the camera menu. Use this to show or hide the camera. Now you can change the camera position to match your content. Let's put it here. Great. Fancy mirrored camera view? No problem. Just flip the switch right here. Now I'm in the mood for a squircle shaped camera. So let's tweak the roundness a bit. Just like that. And for the finishing touches, let's adjust the offset and size. Right here and here. Perfect. Okay, let's kick things up a notch. If you are chatting away on your mic while recording the video, you can whip up an AI powered transcript that'll show up in your video too. Just head over to the captions menu and hit generate transcript. Now you've got two options here. Choose cloud if you want your transcript generated fast. It might not be perfect, but it'll be fast. If you pick local, the process will run on your computer. It'll be more accurate, but you'll need to download some extra stuff. Under local, you can also tweak the generation quality. 
High setting takes a bit longer, but hey, quality takes time, right? For now, let's go with local. Next, pick the language you used in the recording. We're going with English this time. And here's a cool feature. You can add prompts. These are super helpful for guiding the AI and getting better results. For example, let's type in, uh, I'm showing how to use Canvid and its features. A boom. Now the AI will keep that in mind when generating the transcript, helping it to come up with more accurate words and phrases when needed. All right, let's hit the road and generate our first transcript. And there you have it. Just hit the play button to see the captions in action. Now let me show you one of the more interesting places to visit in Chicago. Did you catch how the words light up as you speak? That's the magic of AI-powered Canva. Amazing. You can play hide and seek with the captions or switch up the word highlighting by tweaking the settings up top. And hey, nobody's perfect, right? If you spot a typo in the transcript, just click on the word and swap it out. Easy peasy. Okay, next up is the microphone menu. Just flip the switch to turn the mic on or off, but let's leave it on. And check this out. Another awesome AI powered feature from Canvid. This little gem filters out most of the unwanted noise from your microphone. We are definitely going to take advantage of that. Here, you can toggle the system audio on or off. And there you have it. Finally, the Zoom Animation Sidebar menu is a handy feature that allows you to change your zoom behavior. You can make it gentle, stiff, your call. All right. Let's take one last look at our video and marvel at the masterpiece we've created. Show you one of the more interesting places to visit in Chicago. We have the Millennium Park, which is a public park where you'll find the theme. That futuristic piece of art where a lot of Now, that's something to be proud of. Also around the area you will find the Art Institute of Chicago. In our next video, we'll be diving into the basics of exporting and sharing your recordings. See you there. All right, folks, this is the last part of the tutorial. So we've polished our recording to perfection, and now it's time to save and share our masterpiece with the world. Exciting, isn't it? Ready? Let's kick things off by hitting the export button, sitting pretty at the top right corner of our Canva editor. Now let's name our video. How about Nice Places in Chicago? Sounds good, right? But remember, you're the artist here feel free to pick a name that resonates with you. Next up, choose your preferred save location. I'm going for the desktop, but you do you. Exporting your video is very easy. You can save your video as an MP4 or a GIF. Let's go with MP4 this time. We want our video to flow like a dream, so we'll stick with the current frame rate setting. For the resolution, let's aim high and pick 1080p. And because we settle for nothing but the best, let's crank up the quality to ultra perfect. Now here's a cool feature. Canvid lets you save your video to the cloud, generating a shareable link. Now, isn't that just fantastic? With everything in place, it's time to hit the export to file button. Go ahead, you've earned it. Keep in mind, the processing time can vary based on the video length and export settings. And voila! You've done it! Our video is ready for the world to see. Now let me show you one of the more interesting places to visit in Chicago. We have the Millennium Park, which is a public park where you'll find the theme. That futuristic piece of art where a lot of people are taking I hope you enjoyed this tutorial also as much as I have. If you have any questions Chicago, or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. Until next time, goodbye and, and happy editing.